Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I got some great free tools for you. This is Jesse's Extensions. All right, I'm gonna show you one of the extensions and then I'll show you all the rest and you can get these for free. They're all based on the same kind of idea and that is how to discover things in the timeline. Maybe that's easy if it's a two clip, five second timeline, but some people are working with hundreds of clips and assets and they need to be able to understand what's already in there. Or maybe you need chapters for um, YouTube, or you need to find the markers, or find Mogerts, or find anything. It's incredible, very simple to use, very powerful. So it's uh, from Jesse Reichler, and here his, is his YouTube channel, Co-op for Two. Um, as it says, join us for cooperative board games, full playthroughs, detailed reviews, lots of cool stuff. And he's got this playlist here of custom Adobe Premiere extensions. The one we're going to be looking at is Time Stamper. Uh, there's Zoom Keys, Sound Effects Adder, Preflight, and Multicam Deluxe. All of these do things that you could do manually but they just make it easier and automatic. The Multicam Deluxe um, has a lot to do with picture-in-picture -in -picture inserts and scaling and things like that, and all the problems that you can run into when you're working with a Multicam master clip, and then you're trying to resize that, and then the picture-in-picture -picture also resizes, but you don't want it to. He's got that all taken care of. So extensions can be loaded in a couple of different ways. Uh, this particular one uses ZXP, ZXP uh, here in, in Canada um, installer so that when you double click on the extension, it loads into here and you can see I've got it uh, timestamp downloaded, installed here. And I'll also have a link to where you can download it. So this is where all the extensions are. You download them as zip files and unzip them and then install them. Once you have them installed, they're in the extension section. If you haven't worked with extensions, it's pretty easy. Let's go have a look in Premiere Pro. So once you have Premiere Pro running after you've installed it, in the window menu extensions, this is where all of the extensions are, and there's Time Stamper right there. When Time Stamper opens up, it opens in this default uh, format, uh, or maybe, I think I might have changed some of these and turned them off, but this is the idea is that you're looking for these things. You're finding them in the current timeline here. And as you can see in this timeline, I have video clips, audio clips, a lot of edit points, and I've got two different kinds of mogerts, two different kinds of titles. So the idea here is that you push this button to recalculate timestamps. So with all of these on, if I click on it, it's going to look for everything. And many of the file names I'm using are absolutely huge. Like one of these are art grid videos and they have gigantic file names in there, but you can see it's still found everything. If we wanna do a more fine tuned search, for instance, let's find all the markers. And what I've done is I've set markers that have a duration on them, sort of segment markers at a beginning and end of maybe something that someone would use for chapters in uh, YouTube. So I'll get rid of video clips, audio clips, uh, Mogerts, text and graphics, and special effects. And if I recalculate the timestamps, you can see that it has found them. And if I want to, I could make this larger for us here so we could see it. Okay, so here's the idea that the first one is a comment and it starts at zero right there, and when I click on the number, it takes me to each one of those markers, which you could do for markers too, but these could be different kinds of markers. So if we wanted to go to the video clips and find those, recalculate that, and again, there's all the clips, and this is where the select button really uh, comes into play. When you click on select, it's selecting that particular clip. So it's taking you to there and selecting that clip. That's if you don't have this 
selection follows playhead turned on in the sequence menu. Typically that only gets turned on when you're in the color workspace with Lumetri. But uh, if you turn that on, then it will select it. If you don't, that select will, will select it. Now the recursive subsequences, this is really important. A subsequence is a nest. So if you think of one of these clips being a nest that has stuff in it, like maybe a title, you can select it. It would actually open up that nested clip and find the title all the way in the nested clip. Really, really powerful stuff. You can also select Mogert. So let me show you how this works. So let's turn on Mogerts. And for that, I'm going to turn on my After Effects Mogerts. I've got these titles here that are After Effects Mogerts. And I also want to turn on this, select midpoints, because if you see, if I start at the beginning of the title, it disappears. It only happens after a couple seconds. So watch this, recalculate. Now when I go to here, it's going to go to the middle of the title. So I'm able to jump to each one just like that. And if I have midpoints turned off and recalculate again, now you'll see I'm at the beginning of that. If I click select, it's going to select that particular title. Now, if I turn on text and graphics, and instead I'm going to turn on the Premiere Pro graphics, you'll see something interesting. So text and graphics, recalculate. It's now taking me to the same points where the graphics are. And if I go to the midpoints again, I can read those graphics, but you'll see that text is not available. And that's not a problem with Time Stamper or Jesse's programming. That is just a deficiency in the API from Adobe. What the heck is an API? An application programming interface, not a user interface, programming code. So for Adobe to allow programmers like Jesse to, to do something in the timeline, they have to be able to allow him to use the code. If they put the code in the API, he can use the text like he can do with the After Effects Mogerts. But Adobe does not put any uh, hooks in for Premiere Pro Essential Graphics text in the API yet. Eh, maybe they will. Even though if we look at the, the graphics panel in Premiere Pro, Adobe does allow themselves to do it. So the capability does exist uh, for Premiere Pro to manipulate the text in an essential graphics text. They just don't put it in the API to allow programmers to use it. So you could think of this as you know a really powerful tool. I go to my uh, audio clips here and look for these and all of the audio clips are there. And my timeline is not that long, but imagine if you're uh, a, a long form editor and you're dealing with 90 minutes, two hours or plus, and you've got to try to find all of these things over and over again. Uh, somebody calls you on the phone and they want a quick list of whatever it is. You can now spit that list out. In fact, let's do that. Um, let's spit out a list of the markers. And you can see over here, save to file. And it's been saved to this uh, timestamps file, which is the name of the, the project, uh, timestamp txt. And here is what was created. So there is something that you could possibly use in YouTube. Then there's also a simple version, and then there's a more complex version in here. And you see, I can get all of this information with one click. So lots of times you've got to give this information to someone else. And you imagine finding and typing all of that stuff in or copying and pasting, um, it would be brutal. So lots of ways to get information out of here. I'll, like I said, a link to this, a link to the playlist, a link to Jesse's site, and uh, I'll also um, link to uh, Jesse's site. Oh yeah, and where to download things. Uh, and you can also get that from there. So if you are in the uh, GitHub um, location, you can see down here are his video walkthroughs. And then when you're in the playlist, 
there it is to GitHub too. So you can click on those and, and get them back and forth. So there you go. Jesse has deep tutorials on all of those. So watch the playlist, download them, install them. They're free. Thank you, Jesse, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, but they're there to play with. Like I said, the multicam one is really involved. Um, I know I'll use this uh, time stamper to find things in my timelines. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us or support Jesse too, you could do that. Uh, you can do it for me on videorevealed.com slash shop or you can donate once or monthly, any amount. Um, and there's a bunch of free things to download and some tickers to buy in a member section. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and uh, I'm lucky enough to have people like Jesse reach out to me and uh, tell me, hey, would you like to tell you guys how to get all this free stuff? Thanks, Jesse.